As the day turns to night around the world, it becomes obvious that few inventions have changed our lives so profoundly as this simple yet ingenious object, the electric light bulb. Thanks to a billion brilliant light bulbs, the world can see in the dark at a mere flick of a switch. Light bulbs are a necessary part of our lives. And they can even be seen from the moon. But have you ever stopped to think how they produce the lights we take for granted? How do they do it? Light bulbs seem such a simple design. Tiny wires coiled and mounted inside small glass bowls. But look again. Each twisted filament made of tungsten metal heats up to an incredible 4,532 degrees Fahrenheit, enough for the tungsten to generate a glowing white light, and hot enough to melt gold. The light comes from electricity passing through a delicately coiled wire circuit. The thicker the wire, the greater the amount of energy that can pass through it. Yet the one thing that would put an end to this incredible reaction is oxygen. Oxygen is the enemy. It would make the tungsten burn out in the blink of an eye, which is why the glass bulb is so important, something the manufacturers know all too well. The molten glass leaves the furnace and is poured into a molding machine. High pressure pumps blast air into the bulbs to form their final shape and smooth the glass out inside the mold. At this stage, the glass is still very much a liquid. But there is a delicate balancing act going on here. If the glass cools too quickly, it will shatter. So each bulb is spun out onto a long conveyor belt and taken through a series of cooler and cooler ovens, which slowly cool down the bulb to 194 degrees Fahrenheit. And this reveals the Achilles heel of glass. It's very breakable. Why its rough handling doesn't shatter it at every stage seems unbelievable. However, Phillips has devised a series of crude but effective techniques for making sure this doesn't happen. First, a shaky conveyor belt. OK, it sounds crazy, but this vibration machine singles out the bulbs and picks out the weak bulbs from the buff bulbs. If it's too weak and cracks under the movement, it drops down under the conveyor belt. Only the strong survive, and those that don't go back into the furnace as cullet. It's a cycle that produces 50,000 glass bulbs an hour, and that means a phenomenal 15 every second. This waterfall of glass has a secret to it. Each time there's a drop, it's never long enough to create any damage. And this happens at a lot of places throughout the conveyor line. Making the inside element of the bulb brings together what are called the glass stem, the leading wires, and the holding wires. Eventually, these things all work to hold the tungsten wire in place. The stem is heated up so it gets to a melting point where the wires can be added, then it's clamped and gradually cooled to reduce any chance of cracking. However, before the marriage of the stem inside the bulb can take place, there is one crucial thing missing, the tungsten filament itself. Tungsten is the only metal capable of producing light continuously. Any other metal withers after minutes, or at best, a few hours. And astonishingly, it has not changed as the main ingredient of the light bulb since Thomas Edison perfected its potential more than 120 years ago. Just before the bulb is lit for the first time, the cap is fixed and welded to the lamp, and the contacts are soldered on. Now the moment this light bulb has been waiting for, when the lamp is lit for the first time. It's been a long journey from the furnace and along the conveyors. 
If the process is worked, there will be a puff of smoke from the geether and the bulb will be oxygen free. If not, the bulb will blow. Witness the birth of the bulb. But after all this technology, design, and manufacturing effort, incredibly, the standard light bulb is, by today's standards, hugely inefficient. It's an energy-sucking device that converts just 5% of electricity into light. The remaining 95% of the energy is wasted heat and infrared light invisible to the human eye. So soon, the classic traditional light bulb could be phased out altogether. An antiquated icon of the 20th century.